really, really enjoying this look behind me. That house looks damaged to me. Uh, good morning to you all and welcome to another storm video I'm doing. Uh, today is the 26th of March, uh, Friday morning. It is uh, daybreak just over there in Buffalo. Uh, we're in the middle of thunderstorms right now. Uh, just over there was the first load that passed through. Uh, There's quite a few that went towards Niagara Falls way. And unfortunately, <laughs> we missed it all once again in this area. We had some good rumbles, a bit of lightning, uh, but unfortunately I didn't capture any because I forgot an important piece of equipment which is now on that tripod so I had to go home and get it. That was around about uh, quarter to five this morning. But anyway, we're down here. We're expecting a very active day today um, down here. Uh, the thunderstorms are nearly finished. There's another line just coming through uh, just back over the lake right now, probably around about Long Point right now. Uh, once they've cleared, the wind should pick up and as you can see right now, the water is calm. Uh, but that is going to change very, very shortly. We're expecting winds today of 110 kilometers an hour, maybe even gusting higher than that. Uh, we're also expecting a, a siege, which is where the winds will push all the water from uh, the west end of uh, Lake Erie all the way up to the east end. And we're expecting flooding in the Ford Erie area. So that's where we'll be heading later on this morning. Really, really enjoying this look behind me. Uh, what a beautiful shot. The water, the clouds, the skyline. All the gulls are uh, flying just around me here. Uh, they literally just appeared in the last five, 10 minutes. Uh, loads of them. Due to ever increasing cloud, I never actually made it to the full sunrise. So here is a time lapse of dawn. immediately after I stopped recording the other side and as you can see there's a buildup of cloud coming in very very quickly and that gave way to a little thunderstorm got it got it got it right over there This is the old Palmwood Bar and Restaurant which has been um, torn down and is uh, now being excavated to build a, um, a nice condominium. But unfortunately, things are going bad. It's like something out of Poltergeist. You expect the coffins to pop up. Anyway, at least the rain uh, <laughs> washed the poop off the house. We will uh, revisit this house later on because uh, when I got back, I noticed something had changed. We'll just take a quick look down here. Uh, water levels right now, pretty low. All right, it's 9 a.m. 
So what we'll do, we'll come back to this spot later on and see the difference. But I can assure you, I won't be standing here in a couple of hours. All right, just down here near Waverley. I'm going to get a quick look at what's going on down here. Uh, hopefully the wind's not too bad on the microphone. Anyway, there it goes. of the oncoming storm surge they've already closed the road off ready to stop people from going down there and getting stuck uh, over previous storms there has been a lot of vehicles going down there risking themselves quite badly especially in cars trucks can usually get through but all it takes is about three or four inches of water on the road to lift a car up it doesn't take much at all and if it's coming in waves your vehicle will be picked up and will be swept away so it's a good idea to actually shut this road off right now uh, i'm just looking at the water back here at the lake and it really is now starting to run really fast down the river. Like the sea is starting to make its way down here. Uh, really starting to come over now. Over the wall here. Look at that. Like every wave now is just getting further, more and more water. wall down literally he just toppled right in front of me right there where the water's coming out uh, that block just blew right over so the water's getting higher the water's definitely getting higher oh there you go right there you can see exactly where it was then so right there <laughs> that's what it just toppled over as I was walking up I mean, it, yeah, it's not it's not a full wall, but it's still a big jersey barrier. That's very heavy. But all it took was one wave to knock that over. Some of the waves uh, coming down. Time lapse here. Uh, try and catch how quickly it comes up, but it's, not, it's only going to be a couple of minutes before I have to move out of the way. Move out of the way again. All right, the waves are coming in pretty, uh, pretty quickly now. Uh, I moved my vehicle from the green bin to the metal bin to here. And now we move back over there, all the space of 30 minutes. So uh, this is encroached on those really, really quickly. So uh, to on the safe side, I'm going to give it two or three more minutes and I'm moving out of here completely. Uh, I don't want to get caught out here. I'll move back to the old fort. Uh, we'll check out that area and we'll stay away from here because once this is swamped, it gets really, really dangerous. The Niagara River is wild right now, very wild. Uh, there's a hell of a flow right now, super fast. 
over at Buffalo, it's just, <laughs> I'm so jealous. I, I, I'd like to see the water crash like that over here. Um, but I have to watch it from a distance as it crashes over there. It's amazing to see. Some of these waves right now uh, coming down the river are probably about five or six feet, uh, which is pretty big for a river. Uh, right now it's got a little low, but uh, literally a minute ago when I was doing a live stream, the, the, the swell was causing about a six foot wave easily. All right, I'm going to take you further up there because it looks like there's uh, some more action up that end. Uh, looking over there, actually looks more like an ocean. Now those are proper big freaking waves now. And they look spectacular. It's like looking at the North Sea or the Atlantic Ocean. Hard to believe, like an hour ago I was here, it wasn't nothing like this an hour ago, nothing like this at all. And in the case of literally just minutes, it just got whipped up. This is amazing. If you love weather, you're a weather freak, uh, you're a weather nerd or whatever, this is the weather you like. You, you just love days like this. The winds are strong, the waves are big. Mother Nature is angry. Or is it a bit of spring cleaning, one or the other? Look at this, this is fantastic. I wouldn't want to be in it though, but uh, that is... Spectacular. It's a, it's a glorious day for those weather watchers, storm chasers, and storm spotters like myself. A wonderful day. As I was walking back, I kept hearing a squeaky sound. I was wondering what it was. And as I looked down, uh, all around me is scattered metal frames. Uh, frames from the structure of the concrete uh, buildings that were once stood here uh, many years ago. But uh, as the waves crash over, it makes a little a squeaky sound. All right, my lens seems to have fogged up. Not to worry. Um, earlier on this morning, I was here. I was standing over there. All right, if I'm not mistaken, that house looks damaged to me. Looks like the whole structure underneath that house could collapse at any time. Look at the uh, there's cracks everywhere, roofs exposed, the garden's already collapsed. What a nightmare! And uh, not all to do with the weather. <laughs> Maybe some bad engineering, but it's a uh, construction that's going on here. But the weather has played a small part. Time for our final stop of the day, and it is of course gonna be our usual spot, uh, the Crystal Beach boat ramp here in the Fort Erie region. And we're standing right on top of the defensive wall which protects the boat ramp. As you can see, the docks aren't in just yet. They should be in soon. But look at the size of these waves.
lap. it for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, it was a pleasure doing it as always i'm going to leave you with some uh, videography of some of the surfers getting into the water and also a couple of attempts of people trying to get up on their surfboard until the next storm or the next adventure um stay safe see you all very soon thanks for watching